One thing about making these shorts, it can happen at any time. And I'm in the gym, I'm here in the background. I don't know what Will Smith did in his past life, future life, or in the current life to get the wife that he got. But Jada Pinkett is a heinous embarrassment. They supposedly have been separated since 2016, and it's supposed to be private. Now that she got some tell-all she's about to do, of course, now it's public. There has been no level of respect that Jada has ever given Will. And Will is the star. Will is the one we all know, the one we all respect. Without Will, Jada wouldn't even be Jada. She'd just be some bra that some cat and set it off she slept with to get a damn college tuition. That's all she would be. And she stayed talking about Tupac. She done had an affair with an underage cat that she clearly took advantage of, underage in the sense of her age. She's done all of this. And she will get a pass. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Waha, Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders at Great Millstone, the men that taught me this truth through the Spirit. Peace and blessings to the elect of the house of Israel that's scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. This is going to be a quick hit, man. Just um, it's a, a, a message to Israel, uh, especially to the brothers, the prophets, the teachers, right? The seers, the watchmen, right? Don't fall for this. TMZ world star hip hop Israelite social media bullshit. All right, this is a message for the men of Israel, the watchmen, the prophets, the seers. Do not fall for this world star hip hop TMZ celebrity gossip bullshit, man. Who gives a shit? Who gives a damn, man? Right? There's prophecies that's way more important and way more prevalent than Jada Pickett Smith and Will Smith having a private breakup for over 70. Who gives a shit? One is a sodomite. They probably both sodomites and they, they just overall abominations. And it's been known for years. So who gives a damn, man, unless they repent, right? Now, if you was to speak on something that's going on with celebrities, right? Make it edifying. What scriptures are, what law, statutes, commandments are they breaking? Uh, uh, you know, you know, put some scriptures to it so the sheep can be fed. Because you just look like an Israelite celebrity gossip person, right? In the words of the elder brother Lamadia, man, don't drink tea, drink coffee, man. Don't drink tea, drink coffee. And this is, uh, the meaning of that is women drink tea, men drink coffee. Women like gossip and men like to be aware, like to be alert in the wake of things. Don't drink tea, drink coffee. Who cares about the gossip? Who cares about the drama? Who cares about that shit, man? So I got a couple of scriptures that I'm going to wrap it up. This is 1 Thessalonians 5 and 6. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. Watch what? Watch why, why Jada Pinkett is uh, dogging Will Smith out? Because he's a goddamn sodomite. He's he doesn't have one ounce of masculinity in his body. He can act masculine, but in real life, he ain't a masculine man. Right? So it says, therefore, let us not sleep as do others. As, as who? The unbelievers. One second, I'm going to let this shit pass. So who are we not supposed to sleep like? The world. We ain't supposed to sleep like two-thirds. Right? But let us watch and be sober. What are we being sober from? The drunkenness of the society, of the world. Right? The wines of the world. The gossip, the drama, the busybodies. The meddling with other people's affairs. 
We are not supposed to be like that. And that's heavily, heavily promoted in this world. That's a part of one of the great follies that's set in great dignity. Minding other people's business. Right? Now, you, that could have been some edification. That wife shall be a harlot in the street. That's that prophecy. Uh, you know, she's supposed to be put to death, commit adultery. You know, she, he could have went any angle to edify, to feed the sheep of the Lord's lambs. But he went the, the so-called TMZ journalist, world star hip-hop route. Just to get some bullshit gossip on the airways to get more views and likes. And we are not to um, conduct ourselves in such a manner. Right? Now, I know some brothers got channels that they upload a lot of kind of, uh, kind of world star hip hop content. Whether, you know, Jake is fighting or nigga woman doing something crazy or, you know, Jake going off, you know, or some pastors and preachers, whatever. But make sure it's just some edification is, or there's some scriptures to edify and feed the lambs. Because that's what we're supposed to be doing. Right? Not caught up into fucking celebrity drama and gossip. So it says, For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. Verse 6 in NLT, it says, So be on your guard, not asleep like the others. Stay alert and be clear-headed. Night is the time when people sleep and drinkers get drunk. But let us who are of the day be sober putting on a breastplate of faith and love and for a helmet a hope of salvation for God have not appointed us to wrath but obtain salvation by our Lord Yahweh Shammashiach and that's what it's about man thus saith the Lord as it is written and preaching of the Messiah and preaching of the end times give them warning from me to the laws and to the testimonies, the gospels, the epistles. What else are you talking about if you ain't talking about that? YouTube short or not? Isaiah chapter 58, 56 verse 10. It says, his watchmen are blind. They are all ignorant. They are all dumb dogs. They cannot bark. Sleeping, lying down, loving to slumber. It says, for the leaders of my people, the Lord's watchmen, his shepherds are blind and ignorant. They are like silent watchdogs that give no warning when danger comes. They love to lie around sleeping and dreaming, man. And that's what you just witnessed, man. This is a watchman that's sleeping and dreaming. Enemies of the state, Jada Picking, YouTube Shorts, Black Media. See, Black Media. Why Why would you create a platform? Why would you, on your platform you'll give any light to Black Media? Or put Black Leader, black, put Black Media in any type of light? That shit is supposed to be shunned and, prof and, 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 and profane, man. That's supposed to be ridiculed and rebuked and reproved. If you open it in your mouth about people's business, it's to judge the matter. And there was no judgment, man. It was just gossip. And ad hominems. Right? It says, yay, they are greedy dogs which can never have enough. They are shepherds that cannot understand they all look to their own way, everyone for his gain, for his quarter. Like greedy dogs, they are never, never satisfied. They are ignorant shepherds. It says all following their own path and intent of person on personal gain. And that's all this is, man. To get the views and the likes and get the monetizations, right? That's all this is about. Come ye, say they, I will fetch wine 
and we will fill ourselves with strong drink, and tomorrow shall be as this day and much more abundant. Come, they say, let's get some wine and have a party. Let's all get drunk. Then tomorrow we will do it again and have an even bigger party, man. Man, Jake got to repent, man. Brothers got to repent and, 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 and just preach the word, man. Preach the word in season, out of season. Exhort, rebuke, reprove with all long suffering, man. And this is a part of the long suffering, which it ain't a suffering. This is a this is a joy. This is an honor to be able to speak the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. But though the prophecies tarry, we wait for it. That's a part of the long suffering. We wait for shit to hit the fan, for all hell to break loose. But pretty much that's it, man. Be aware of that social media, world star, hip hop, TMZ uh, spirit. And be and watch and be sober. I pray and hope that y'all was edified. I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Wahhaver, Kakwadash. Leave your comments, leave your questions, do your responses. Till next time I say Shalom.